Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Time to Go, and uh, this week we're actually moving into a new unit about David and about Thanksgiving, and we thought it would be fun to bring in a special guest, one of our friends, Ben Lavin. Yeah, Ben's a friend of ours from seminary, he's a pastor in Rochester, and uh, since this coming Sunday is All Saints Day, we're talking about David um, as a saint. Um, and a lot of times when we think about saints, we think of really holy, churchy people. Uh, we forget to think that, you know, it's God that's made us saints. And then God calls us to a lot, to act as saints in a lot of everyday things, uh, to be everyday saints. And so we thought it'd be fun to, to bring Ben here uh, because uh, you're living out God's vocation, not just as a pastor, uh, but also as a father and as a friend of Pastor Dane and I. Yeah, yeah, we've been friends for a long time. Uh, and you talk about everyday saints. I mean, that's really good. Um, I just remember, you know, every day uh, in college with you. And, and well, there was this one time when your 21st birthday in college where we, oh, we just. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, David, before his 21st birthday, you know, back to the text. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I suppose. Before I suppose. his 21st birthday uh, was anointed king. The prophet Samuel came to him uh, and chose him as a king as opposed to, to many others. Um, because David seems like a pretty normal, everyday guy. There was nothing special about him. He was small. Um, but but God saw something in in David that was going um, that was going to be great. That God was going to be able to to use David to do great things. And 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 I think that's what we really want to focus about. Um, that God sees all of us as saints and sees something special in all of us uh, that God can use to do great things, even though we are imperfect people. Yeah, there. I mean, all imperfect people. Is absolutely right. I mean. At seminary, we were in a whole bunch of people who were imperfect. Um, yes, there yes. was there was that one. You remember that one time with Dane? That was a um, crazy night at seminary. Hey, that one wait, night. Wait, 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 wait. We're we're talking about David here, not Dane. David's the imperfect one, not me, right? Well, well, well let's get back to David. Uh, David uh, was the runt of the litter in his family, and God chose. Uh, to use him to do God's work. It wasn't those really good-looking older brothers. It wasn't the ones that looked like these great, great mighty kings. Uh, it was David, the run to the family that God chose because God doesn't look on outward appearances, but God looks on our hearts. And that is a really important point in the story of David that God is going to use this really uh, imperfect person uh, because God knows his heart and knows that he's going to be a wonderful king uh, to do God's work in the world. Right, and I think that's something that we can be thankful for. As Dane mentioned, this is now a season of Thanksgiving. So we're thankful that God sees our heart. Uh, we're thankful, Ben, for your friendship. Uh, we're thankful to you for all the things that God does in your life. And so we give thanks to God for all of those things. Well, I guess it's time to go before Ben tries to share any more stories about me and Justin. Uh, it's definitely time to go, right. But we hope you have a great week.